Oh, it's been a hot minute since I've done a Warhammer 40k video, so let's rectify that with another what-if scenario. So we've done enough of the Doctor Whos, we've done enough of uh, those alien factions, and I kind of thought to myself, let's go back to a video, and I also did one on the on the Halo um, a few days back. Um, so let's talk about some Star Trek factions that could uh, that could survive, and let's start with the Romulans. And multi, I hear you say, didn't you do this a, lo a few months ago, talking about like which Star Trek factions could have better survival, uh, could survive in the Warhammer universe? I did, but looking back on that video, I kind of, th I kind of was still and still am learning more and more about Warhammer, and essentially. There were some things, I look back on that video, and I was like, hmm, this is coming from a point of view that I don't, like, uh, that I was still trying to understand. Having understand it, having, having a better understanding, yeah. So let's talk about the Romulans. Why the Romulans first, if, in this scenario? Well, for starters, I feel like the Romulans would be probably the, one of the most fascinating to have here. It wouldn't be like the Borg, where I said, like, where essentially the Borg would just tear ass across uh, Warhammer universe, the Warhammer universe. The other thing is that, you know, the, uh, the Romulans don't work in the same way as the other factions do. And by factions, I mean like both Star Trek and Warhammer. They're all about cloak and dagger. And there isn't really a lot of cloak and dagger stuff, save for some things in the Imperium. Um, in Warhammer, it's all in your face, I'm gonna punch you till you're dead kind of thing. So I thought this would be kind of fun to bring this back as its own video. Um, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. Uh, so let's get into it. Now, the first things first. Let's talk about if the Rom if you just threw Romulus and by uh, by extension Remus into the world of Warhammer, and the, now the Romulan Empire is in the Warhammer universe. First off, they're a lot more technologically advanced than most of the uh, of the alien races. Aside from maybe like the Eldar, Necrons, and Tau, the Romulans kind of have a foothold over a lot of other stuff, uh, um, especially Imperium tech. I know a lot of people say like, oh, you can't, you know, Im the Imperium tech is so cool because Warhammer. No, really, that's been the debate in some of these I've seen is just like, you can't beat Warhammer because Warhammer. See, it's easy to do that, right? <laughs> um, and yes, let's get this out of the way. Groundwork, Romulans aren't good at... Uh, Romulans aren't exactly the best when it comes to, like, ground fighting. There's really nothing they can do um, that's going to be much against most of the factions if this was ground warfare. Space combat, on the other hand, these guys will basically body... I, that's just my personal belief is that these guys would essentially body a lot of these of these uh, ships. The Romulans are known notoriously for uh, for hit and run tactics. That's what got them a, a good edge over the Federation and the Klingons and in some cases the Dominion in a lot of these moves because they would just uh, hit vi just these vicious attacks and then boom they're gone. And yes, cloaking is a thing. And I also understand that cloaking is in Warhammer, and there's cloaking detection in Warhammer as well. The thing of it is, the cloaking tech in Ro by the Romulans is always being updated. It's constantly being up. Who do you think they fight on a daily ba on a daily basis that has cloaking tech cloaking detection technology that's way more advanced than you know the Imperium has? The Federation, the Klingons. The Dominion, the Vulcans, all of them are constantly changing their, you know, they're all constantly updating their cloaking techno detection technology to combat the Romulans, so the Romulans have to keep updating their, you know, cloaking devices. And let's be honest, updating technology isn't exactly a normal, rational thought in the, the Imperium, or let alone most of the, of the other factions. I mean, aside from, like, the Tau and maybe the Necrons, these guys don't, no one's going to be updating tech anytime soon. I mean, maybe the Orcs could believe they could see the Romulans, which I wouldn't put it past that. <laughs> like, they could just believe they can still see the Romulans. That could be a thing. 
that could be a legit thing now that I think about it. But yeah, the Imperium the most would suffer from the Romu from space warfare with the Romulans. Yes, they have bigger ships and bigger guns. You know what the Romulans have? Actual fucking tactics. And I'm aware that there are tactics in the Imperium, but the Romulans really, really are good at space warfare. Um, so these, and also they don't fight like uh, you know they know they don't care if they're going to be called cowards or dishonorable. That's just Romulans. That's just you know Romulans on a whole. These guys are going to do hit and run move, uh, tactics, bait the Imperium ships into fighting on their terms, and rinse and repeat. That's just how they're going to roll. The Romulans would definitely dominate the spaceways, especially if they in, if they took the fight directly to the Imperium itself. The other now ground fighting again. While they do have better technology than the Imperium has, and some of the other factions, Romulans are, do have a good army. They ain't great, and that's where I think a lot of the um, by. But you know what the Romulans do have? They're really good at bioterrorism. These, like, if you've read some of the Star Trek novels and the shit they make, scientifically wise, it's horrendous. <laughs> like, yeah, um, they uh, the Romulans have no problem built. Like, they know their strengths. They know it ain't in their army. Um, they know it's in their fleet and their science division. So why fight when you can just shoot a little black hole generator, kill the entire planet, and then move on? It's that simple. The other thing you have to look at is that, again, going cycling back to the Romulans and their cloak and dagger te techniques, there is the thing of the Tal Shiar. And I guarantee you the Romulans would be placing agents all across the galaxy. If they, like, they could be, in, they were excellent infiltrators. Like, hell, there were deep cover agent, Romulan agents in the Federation, the Klingon Empire, and other races that, like, for decades, and no one, like, put two and fucking two together. Yeah. Also, you're probably wondering why would the um, Romulans be so focused on the Imperium? If it's anything the Romulans are good at, they're kicking people when they're down. So they'd probably look at the Imperium and go, well, fuck those guys first, they're easy pickings. Now, I'm not saying the Imperium's stupid, the, Imp the Tal Shiar and the Romulans haven't really encountered Psykers, so if a Psyker picks up a Romulan agent, it's going to be a bad day. But then again, Romulans have this thing of updating technology, and, you know, don't see it as heretical. The other thing is, Romulans, while they do have a religion, that isn't their governing force, so they're not driven by holy wars or whatever. They're driven by, how much can we fuck up a de person's day, be it anyone? It's almost like the Romulans are almost like the Skaven, uh, just more organized of the galaxy. Just a more organized, technologically advanced Skaven. Um, and with that, um, but that's a t story for, that's another thing to unpack for another time. Now, as for the other races they would interact with, obviously, I don't know how, they, how well they would do against the Tyranids. The Tyranids, I think, would fuck their day up on a massive scale. Not only that, I do think the Drakari would be a major problem. Now, as for the orcs, it'd be like fighting the Klingons, but like way more harder to deal uh, to kill. But the two races I think they would have uh, the most dealings with I diplomatically is the Tau and the Eldar. Granted, some of the craft worlds, I don't think they would be buddy buddy with uh, with um, every craft world, especially like uh, the uh, uh, Yvrain and all of them. But I do see that, like, um, the Drakari may... Like, maybe some elements of the Drakari might be willing to work with the Romulans, but I don't think the Romulans would be, like, all into that hedonistic thing that they got going on. Maybe. Who knows? But I do definitely see, like, they would form an alliance with the Tau because they would see technological advancement and, you know, they'd probably be, like, better to have this devil at my side than in my path because... They might be a pr the biggest problem for us in the galaxy to compete with us tech uh, on a technological level. The other thing that you have to look at is that now we have to ask ourselves, what about chaos? Like, what um, what does chaos involve, and how does that affect the Ro how does chaos infect affect the Romulans? Not good. Um, yeah, it, it's not going to turn out well for anybody because. 
Chaos, I do think, would corrupt the Romulans on a level, as to which Chaos God would probably be the biggest threat to them, to their way of life. I would probably say either Zanich or Slanesh. One of those two. I don't think Nurgle would be a problem for them, um, but the Romulans are all about secrecy and change and all of that, so Zanich could get a hand at them. And depending on which Romulan we're dealing with here, you know could be that pleasures and excess could also be a thing to get Slanesh's attention. If this was Klingons, we all know which Chaos God would be wanting wanting to have on their team as well. Um, so I do think Chaos would be a concern to them. And also, the Romulans are so goddamn arrogant, I do believe that they wouldn't he like realize, oh shit, that's a problem. No, they would be like, "Oh, we can. We're the Romulans. We can. We can dominate anything. We can. We can bend anything to our will. We're fucking Romulans." And then realize, "Oh, we are out of our fucking element." <laughs> yeah. So that's how I kind of see it, really. That's how I how I see it playing out. But you guys, tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think it would be like if the Romulans existed in Warhammer 40k? Do you think they would hold their own as a faction, or do you think they would fall apart? This one could easily it could easily tip either way for me, honestly. But I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.